So I just wanted to give a hats off to all of the single parent um, academics that are out there or even just any of the academics that do primary um, caregiving. And I just, the, the reason why I want to give a shout out is um, I've been going into work early um, for the first time in ever. Um, it's been 10 years that I have been able to do this, where actually probably 12 years since um, I've been able to do this, where I go into work early. And it's only occurred in the last few months where I can dedicate time because you need as an academic, as a researcher, you just need a lot of time to do research. You need and it's really, you know, to do research is just fancy word for work. You have to be very much a workaholic um, to actually get anything accomplished. And um, the last few months, my wife's schedule has changed. Um, normally, she'd be going in at um, 6.30 in the morning and I'd have the kids and she'd be back at uh, roughly about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. So like 12 hours, um, five days a week. And um, she she's a health professional, so the hours are pretty long. Um, and and um, I get the kids um, almost all of the time, right? So the vast majority of the kids growing up, um, I got the kids for a huge chunk of the time. Now, we definitely share um, workloads um, with the kids. I'm not saying that I got them all the time and all that kind of stuff, but the primary scooting around and doing things like that, I would say that I did um, a huge chunk of it, um, but she definitely, you know, the sort of stereotype, the planning with all that kind of stuff, she definitely does all of that sort of childcare planning and, and things like that. Um, but, and, and the, re the reason is, is that, you know, I attempt to do it and it just doesn't work out. So uh, we just, uh, we've just kind of uh, arrived upon that it just makes sense if she just does it. So anyways, a little too much interpersonal information, I guess. Um, it, it, but, but we definitely, you know, I'd, I'd spend a great deal of time doing that kind of stuff. And it's just hard to get in and do any sort of work to run off. Um, I remember a few, few years ago, three, two or three years ago, I started working out in the morning, for, like started leaving the house for the first time without the kids. Um, and yeah, it was probably about three years ago. And it would just be to go work out, like to go for a jog. And it was really hard to do that, um, you know, to leave them at home. And it was just, it was early in the morning, the same sort of thing, early in the morning, so that they can, um, you know, they'd be sleeping, but it's still hard because, you know, when they wake up, they don't, mom and dad are not there because uh, my wife would go, I would let her go for the exercise then. Um, and, and I would just stay at home and, and watch the kids. You know, I did a lot of the prep because I'm in the academic and it's, it appears that I've got sort of more relaxed hours. If you're in this relationship, um, it, 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 it almost always is going to default that you're going to do most of it. Like if you have somebody that's, um, that is in um, like a primary healthcare giver of some sort, you're inevitably going to end up doing this kind of relationship uh, just because they need to be with clients all the time. Um, if they're with clients, you know, that's, that's how they make money. That's how they, you know, help people that's their job and so that they there's a great deal of time dedicated with contact hours in that sort of way but if you uh, and then as an academic because my work is more amorphous then i have to work around those particular schedules and so um i just where my point is going with this is i have a deep appreciation for single parents um you know, that are doing all of this uh, without any of the trade, like trading off and um, particularly those that are having that, that 
don't make that what um, that much money to pay for daycare and, and all of those kind of things. Um, you know, some if you're especially PhD students, man, it is t it would be tough. Um, but I want to um, just give you some kudos, and and I completely sympathize with this because you know the that to get to the point of to the other like I having kids is amazing um is that's my life that's you know they they definitely it's an important um, massive part of my life right now but um at the same time um uh, you know you got to really sort of um give sacrifice a lot and that's that's why they're so important because you do sacrifice a lot and I have this deep appreciation for anybody that's doing this uh, without support, without, um, you know, doing it on their own and really struggling with it. Um, very deep appreciation. And, and, you know, it's, what's interesting is I would argue that if you saw people doing this on their own and, and, you know, just maintaining it's, it's like, you, it's impossible to excel. Um, it would be impossible to excel in the work life as somebody that does that, right? Like you just can't, you, you, if you're a single parent, there's no way that you can dedicate the time to do anything. But if you saw somebody that was just getting by and a single parent, um, and you knew that they were doing the vast majority of both things, I would point out that they're probably extraordinarily talented um, as a human being. Um, but but here's the thing, like there's a lot that goes on behind talent and skill and all of those kind of things. You might not want to actually do the work um, that, you know, quote unquote work. They might actually like the life that they actually live. Um, and, it, and it's like me, like I do like, I like working. Um, but I also, um, I want to make sure that my kids grow up happy and healthy as well. Right. Like that's an important thing. And, um, it's, it's a lot more important to me that, that my kids grow up happy and healthy than getting another publication. Um, so I just want everybody to, to take a step back at this moment and just say, Hey, you know what? You're good enough. You're okay. You don't have to prove to the outside world about who you are. You live your life and you be you. So I know that there's a lot of external pressure to perform and make sure that you look amazing at work and all of that kind of stuff, but you can't. There's oftentimes you can't. And there's many situations, single parents, um, you know, that is just one sort of small situation. You might have parents that you're watching um you might have somebody that you know you yourself might have an intellectual disability of some sort and just saying screw the outside world they don't know what the hell they're talking about and just do you and work at you doing yourself every day the outside world is meaningless and they don't need to put the pressure on. But the reason why they put pressure on is simply because that they don't understand who you are and what you're going through and all of that kind of stuff. If they were the ones that were in the same boat, man, they would be saying completely different things. But they're not, and they're never going to be. So you have to just say, you know what, I'm freaking good enough, and you don't have to do any of that stuff to me. I'm okay with who I am, and that is okay. So that's all I wanted to say is kudos to all of you that are, are, are trying to be good parents. Um, it's hard and it's a struggle and, and, you know, like it is very, the, the balance of it all and the chaos and all of that kind of, it's not balance at all. It's chaos. It's utter chaos. But I just want to say like, Hey, kudos to you that are balancing all of this kind of stuff or other people that have you know, something else, an intellectual disability. Um, they're watching their parents. There's there's some sort of crisis that's going on in their life. They have, um, you know, strong bouts of depression that prevent them from actually doing work. Kudos to you. Like, awesome. 
you're doing fantastic. It's, I just want you to remember, you're doing frickin' fantastic for who you are at the moment. And there's nothing else that the outside world can tell you otherwise. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.